so you're new to mx bikes and all these videos that you've seen that may or may not have gotten you into this you see all these custom tracks custom liveries and custom gear for your bikes and even a custom hud in this video i'm going to show you how to do all that so please sit back and enjoy the video so first and foremost i'm going to say that this video has become a thing because of a comment i received on my last video or one of my videos asking me how i got the hud that i use which is just max hud but i figured maybe there's some new people to the game so i do a little tutorial on how to actually mod this game there's a lot that you can do like i mean as you can see liveries uh, oem bikes stuff i don't know why that just flashed black but i will okay anyways you know gear and stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna go through how to do all that also i'm gonna show you how to get your uh, bikes list to look like this instead of the default one i just think this one's a little bit you know more uh user friendly we're gonna go ahead and get into it first and foremost we're gonna start off by going into your documents folder you're going to find something called poboso in here mx bikes mods so this is where everything's going to be except for how the bike my bike menu looks that's and i believe um max hud i remember correctly i want so first and foremost things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here and i will link everything in the description uh the only reason i have mx bike shops open is just so y'all can see another place to get maps these do cost money over here you don't have to get them from here but the, the tracks on here are really well made but we're gonna go ahead and close that because i'm not gonna go into that so we're gonna open that up sure okay so i'm gonna use this track right here as the how to install a custom track and then we'll go over some gear and stuff so i'm gonna look for a gear set that I do not have that I may like um I do like this helmet but I need I want rider gear I don't want blue you know what screw it we'll go with the blue gear first and foremost so you will come over here to MXB mods you'll just kind of scroll through if you look up top up here you will have things like bikes where you can get everything first and foremost before you get into looking at any liveries go here new bikes download this oem motocross pack this is how you're going to get all of the oem models without this sorry but the game will not be fun i'm not going to download this on the video but i will show you once you have downloaded this it will come with you know a folder and it, it this will tell you where to place everything so you're going to put the, the tire stuff in the tires folder and the bikes in here the bikes will be all these pkz's after you launch the game it will create all these folders these folders are important because this is what you're going to need for liveries we'll get to that when the time comes first and foremost first thing we're going to do is i'm going to show you how to install modded track because you don't really the gear doesn't really matter until you get to the point to where you're using you know you're, you're having fun pretty much so i'm going to preface this by saying there are two different types of tracks that you will get what i mean is you will get the ones that are these dot pkz's and you sometimes will download ones that are in folders alone and just have a bunch of files in those folders i will explain the difference once i get into my track folder so i can kind of show you because i do have a few that are the folders but we're going to go ahead and download this one right here this might take a second or not um so once this is downloaded we're going to go back over here. We're going to click and go back to home. And we're going to come back down here to this, this gear set. And I'll even show you how to do helmets. So we will have to find a helmet. Kind of like this one. A lot of the times, if it has a dependency, it will show dependency. And I already have this model. I believe this my I believe I have the Belmoto 10. If not, I'll re-download it just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So now this is done. So now you have this PKZ right here. You're gonna come back over here. You're gonna click on tracks within your mod folder. 
I do have two custom like five folder names by default. You only have Enduro Moto Cross Supercross and Supermoto. <laughs> I don't really keep my tracks kind of sectioned out. I just kind of throw them in whatever folder I feel like. But for the sake of this, I will throw this into the 125 folder. Now that track is installed. Now I will show you what I mean by some that are folders. As you see, these right here are all folders. And inside the folders will look like this. If you ever download a track and it's in a folder and you open up that folder and you see all this, you just you take the whole folder and put it in the place where you want to be able to load it from. Pretty much whenever you, you know, here, I'll show you. Put it testing. I'm not going to actually start anything. But if you look and you see stuff like, you know, how I have custom um, and then have Enduro and all that. You have all of these. I will have to move it because it's not showing the 125 list. So I will probably just throw that in custom. But you will have to go to the folder that you put it in to find the tracks. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to move that back into tracks. Pop that in custom real quick. And we'll get to the here. Gear, installing gear has gotten a little different since the, the last time, like a while ago when this game came out before, like you'll see how, how it can get confusing with gear now with like gloves and stuff. Before you would see gloves right here. None of these will load up. I have... I have moved these over to the actual where it's supposed to be. I just haven't deleted those yet, so I'm going to do that real quick. So pretty much just this folder does not exist to you. Forget about it. Okay. So now that we have this fast house gear set, you'll click riders, default MX, paints. We will take these two PNT files, toss them in here. There you go. That gear is ready so now if you ever get gloves the gloves will go into riders default mx gloves this is where the game will actually pick up all your gloves from not from the other gloves folder so don't get confused with that sorry another thing you want uh if you want to get like how the map and everything is and i will go in game and kind of show you how to customize max out a little bit because it is a little overbearing at first. Pretty much you'll download it. And then from there, uh, let me just get another one of these going. You will find out your install directory. Mine is on Steam. I know my hard drive is almost full. Forgive me. So go to MX Bikes Plugins. As you can see how I have it right here, MX HUD data the max hud mxb64.dlo these two will go in here it will be in this folder once you've downloaded it as you can see you have max hud zip right here so once that's done i'll show you everything that's in there i'm not going to reinstall max hud but i will give you a general sense of what it looks like so as you can see right here you will do the mxb no this i believe should just automatically create if not put this folder in there by itself but yeah you'll need the mxb 64.dlo so just this for this and this will go into your plugins folder to get the bike list how i have it oh we'll download domoto 10 and this moments as well but in order to get the bike list how i have it you'll come over here you'll click others you'll go to ui i will also put this link down in the description below you'll see bike selection menu mod just open that up when you download this so this is what it's going to look like by default it's just jumbled i'm pretty sure you've seen it by now You'll get this one right here, version 2.2. Inside of there will be a folder just called UI. You just put the UI in the main direct directory for your MX bikes. A lot of these mods are pretty straightforward. 
So there's that. I'm not going to redownload that. Don't really feel like it, but that's pretty much what you got to do. And then we go over here, open that up. I'm back to gloves. So now that you, now that we have the helmet, I know this is like all over the place. So if for some reason, okay, there we go. L10 Moto 10, uh, Bell Moto 10. We do have it. So pretty much you would just take every, okay. So every like customized look to it is all going to go in the paints folder of each thing. The only difference is with helmets, you have to put, you'll get a, I'll show you once the Bell 10 is done. I don't know the 93%. So I'll show you once this is done. Hopefully, if I do remember, I'll cut out some of the kind of shitty parts, which is the whole video, let's be real. So you'll have a folder that looks like this. And you'll get this PKZ, which didn't have. So we'll throw that in there. If it has a PKZ, do it. Only thing it's gonna do is most likely create a new folder. I'm gonna keep this paint in there just in case. We're gonna put that back in the default helmets folder. Uh, all of this, all right, cool. Anyways, so that's how you do models because every single helmet isn't for the the default model like they they have actual like manufactured real life helmets stuff like that so now that we got where to install everything i will show y'all how to do bike liveries like i said before you even do anything with the bikes get the oem motocross bike pack that will also be linked down in the description from there after you've loaded up the game and all those subfolders are created you come in here and you find a bike that you want a livery for. For me, I will do a 250 KTM, so or just the KTM in general. You'll find the KTM that you want. I'm actually really liking this one right here. So you'll come down. You will get the Red Bull KTM .rar. We will download this. Download anyway. If it comes with a PSD, then if you are, you know, good with Photoshop, then you can, uh, can edit your own. I'm not good with Photoshop, so I just aren't, I'm not gonna really try. God, that will be awful. So you'll open that up, go to mods. So this one is actually set up to where he gives you gear as well, but we will follow this how it is laid out. We'll go back to mods, go to bikes. And the quicker way you can do all of this is just by taking those three, dragging them and dropping them into your bikes folder. It will add the file that it needs to add where it needs to go. Come into your rider. Riders, default MX. Paints. Okay, so he has just that, so no gloves. Damn. So that's how you do a livery for the bike. It's it's pretty simple. Sometimes they don't have them. Oops. They don't have it where you can just do this. So you've got to know which bike you're using your villa downloading for. So you can know what folder to find. Every single bike will have its own folder. And just to give you an example, all of these folders will have a paints file. And that is where you will when delivery so now that we're done with how to install i will go through and go into a track we will use the track that we just installed to show you that that does work so first and foremost you do actually have to in restart your mx bikes anytime you install a new mod we will use everything that we just installed okay oh nope that's Definitely not what I want to do. All 
I'm not gonna like do a bunch of laps and everything because I'm I'm pretty trash at the game. Hopefully this tutorial helps. I know I kind of went through it fast and everything was all over the place, but it is also, you know, 12 midnight. So getting to that point where I'm starting to get a little tired. I tossed it in custom. There is Paris Raceway, but first and foremost, we will do this. Now, keep in mind, whenever you're switching bikes and stuff, it will take a second to load. So we did a KTM 250. Okay. So now that we have the KTM 250 up, as you can see, I do have a custom here on this one as well. But we'll see. You see how we click the paint. We choose the one that we want to do. We'll give it a second to load and there you go the livery that we just downloaded we have now installed into the game once you get to there you'll have like, like i said you have all these helmets just to show you that the kit paint worked i don't remember what it was called so it's probably going to be a pain in the ass for me to find yeah i don't i don't know what it was called so But you'll find it through the kit paint gloves of course boots boots are the same way as helmets you will have different boot models so just install it like you do helmets but in the boots folder i didn't want to go over that because i just i just kind of wanted to touch on what would require an actual uh model swap which helmets are the most common thing now we're going to go ahead and start in and i will show you all how to set up max hud after you have it installed set it up however you want you don't have to set it up exactly like i do but i will show you how to mess with it just so you know what you can and can't do with it all right so now now that we're in the custom track that we just downloaded as you can see i do have my fps at the top but as you can see my HUD is a little different. I don't have the map right now because when I go into uh, the mode to like get the B-roll and stuff, I don't want a bunch of shit to show up. So what you do to start fucking with Max HUD pretty much is you'll hit your caps button. That doesn't work. Go to the page that's there and there are fixes because certain things will not work. By default, almost everything is turned on. Uh, so you don't really want all of this stuff on but if you do want to remove like and it will look like this actually so it will have the black background and stuff there are some things where i will keep the black background so i don't know why it's turned off all you will do is click on this and then you can move these around the screen by right clicking the object and putting it wherever you want the things I would recommend to keep on will be speed, standings, timing, and map. You don't really need fuel, but that's, that's just personal preference if you want that or not. So once you've got all of that set up how you want it, you just kind of, you know, choose. You can also change the size. I don't, I don't really do all that, so you don't have to. But yeah, you hit caps lock again, and then you're kind of... Free to uh, explore and ride the new track that you just downloaded. If you have any questions or if you don't think I uh, went over something enough or in enough detail, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see all of y'all in the next video.